Okay, welcome back. We're going to uh, move to the next piece here. We're going to go to the lid. I'm going to hit solo again. And just kind of snap to the top holding shift. And I want to turn symmetry off. So I'm just going to go over here, deactivate symmetry, and scale this down, hit B for brush, and then O for orb cracks. And we want to actually on a scale that one up in resolution. And I'm just going to draw our board lines out here. Have like a narrow one there. Maybe a little bit wider one there. A nice variety. And I'm just going to kind of have these boards have a little bit of variety and the distance and gaps and things like that. And now back, looking back at our wood again, we're just gonna make the brush a little bit smaller and start adding in these, these clumps, patterns and sways and swoops and whatnot. And we'll have this one kind of, kind of mimic that uh, third board in. It does a little bit of this as kind of a shape to start and then you kind of peel off that shape. There you go. Kind of cuts in. You can hold shift and it'll do a little bit of smoothing. So I'm just a bit of smoothing there. And we're gonna move on to the next one. And I'm just gonna do some some basic swoops for this one. And I think maybe this edge here has a little bit more wear and stuff. Maybe whoever built this barrel didn't do the greatest job of cutting these pieces, or maybe they didn't have the best machinery. And the last one, we're just going to do kind of a whoop. Okay, now that I looked at some reference, I barely even need to look at that reference over there to kind of get an idea of what I want to do for some of these boards. And that, you know, maybe, maybe I should have uh, done a few test things instead of just jumping right into the object itself. But this is all about learning and stuff, so we're not we're not too worried about having it perfect the first time around. Might scale it up one more time in resolution. It looks a little bit uh, a little bit pixely. And remember, I'm just hitting Control D, scale up my resolution. And I want some of these swoops to kind of look like they're opposing each other. So that's that's a pretty good. I'm gonna save that really quick. Save barrel, save. Had a few crashes actually. I just didn't have. I edited them out. I'm not sure why, but yeah, why it's crashing. But it happens. It's probably working at such high resolution. Who knows? Okay, so there's our barrel lid. Now we're gonna move on to the these. And with these, I want to give them kind of a metal kind of look to them. Um, kind of a little bit pounded and stuff. So we're going to hit B and then T for trim. And then we want trim dynamic. So hit B, T, D. And we also, we don't want uh, turn symmetry on. Well, actually, you know, we could probably use a little bit of symmetry to kind of speed things up here. And then maybe at the end, kind of remove some symmetry. Uh, there we go. Add one set of resolution with Control D. Basically, I just want this edge to be nice and yeah, bevel these edges. So it'll catch the light. And it'll look kind of rough sawn, or not rough sawn, but uh, roughly hewn. I'll undo that, and we're gonna come down to these. I'm kind of just really I'm just kind of breaking it up really quick getting a good overall hand bevel around the whole outside and maybe I'll just come in here a little bit in a few spots and see how the trim dynamic kind of can pull it off in certain areas I don't want to have it too repetitive so I'll probably do most of this with symmetry off but we're at a good starting point here and we're going to go to 
turn symmetry off. And now I'm just going to kind of kind of look, make it look like it's been beaten up a lot. Another thing I actually want to do is go orb cracks again. And I want to make this look like there's a, maybe a split. Kind of where the, uh, the rings meet up or something. And then add one set of resolution again. Just to clean up that line a bit. And trim dynamic. Cracks. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut that as deep as I'm not really sure how thick that'll need to be, but we're just gonna kinda cut across. And I might actually we're gonna do a quick selection on the mask here. One side. Oh wait, we'll do that when we're done here. I got four cracks. I'm gonna take that one there. It's gonna be the seam for the whole barrel, uh, for the uh, metal strip at least. Okay, now that we have that, zoom out a little bit. Do a quick selection here. I'm just holding Control to do this selection. bit bigger. I probably actually could do a drag selection that'd be better. Maybe not. Okay I think you can yeah if you control click you can invert the selection. So now we're gonna hit B M V for move. I'm actually gonna push this in just a little bit. So it looks like it kind of tucks under it a little. Tucks in just a little bit. And we're going to invert it. I'm going to do the opposite really quick. Just pull this out just a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. And Clear that selection by control dragging outside the area. I'm going to go trim dynamic again, make brush a little bit smaller, and just kind of clean up this edge a little bit. Um, we might add some bolts or something, but we could probably do that in uh, uh, Substance Painter. I could add them now, probably don't need to though. Probably do that later. I'm going to mask this out really quick, just to kind of hit that area a little bit, clear the mask, and I'm just going to go around with a larger, maybe less intensity, basically I'm just kind of trying to break up the perfection of this circular area here. Just so it looks like it has, you know, maybe, you know, it's old metal, it's been pounded into this shape. And same with this top one. And if I was, you know, if this if this barrel was going to be more of a final product, I wasn't just doing this for the daily thing. I'd, I'd spend a lot more time getting these getting this information pounded in <laughs> but this will be enough to kind of bring across the idea that i'm looking at or looking for and i can always come back and you know add to this and whatnot so it's not a huge deal okay Hit a few more spots. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. And let's save that. Save. And now we're going to undo solo. So I'll see you in the next episode. If you like this video, give it a like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you really liked it. Take care.